بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دا آن لائن سیشن آف بایولوجی ٹوڈے ان دس نیو ویڈیو وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ آر نیو چیپٹر چیپٹر نمبر سکس ان زائنس ٹاپکس دیٹ ول بی کورڈ تھرو آؤٹ دس ویڈیو آر ڈیفینیشن آف ان زائنس اٹس کیریکٹرسٹکس اینڈ یوزز سو بفور اسٹارٹنگ Uh, the topic that is directly coming towards the definition of enzyme i would like to share something with you that is uh, as we all know there are some chemical reactions that are going on in a living body and uh, those chemical reactions are basically called metabolic reactions and when these metabolic reactions are gathered so this the process in which this these metabolic reactions are taking place that process is called metabolism now here we have two types of metabolism that is catabolism and anabolism in catabolism it is similar to the, uh, to the chemical reaction that we have studied in chemistry that is the decomposition reaction in which breaking down of large molecules take place so in biochemistry in biology when we are having chemical reactions going on inside the body and in which the breaking down of large molecules is taking place we term that reaction as catabolism that process or phenomena is basically termed as catabolism now what is anabolism anabolism is basically the vice versa of catabolism that is in this process that is in anabolism synthesis or formation of large molecules take place here for anabolism we can have an example of uh, production of uh, proteins and carbohydrates these are uh, large molecules and when the formation of such molecules takes place that is called anabolism and when the breaking down of large molecules takes place that is the example here we can give the example of glucose the glucose is such a big molecule and when it break down into smaller parts that process is called catabolism now now after discussing the metabolism and catabolism and about the Uh, the the two uh, metabol uh, metabolism having two types that is catabolism and uh, anabolism uh, we will be discussing about activation energy that what is activation energy it is the minimum amount of energy to start or initiate the reaction that is the minimum energy we need to start the reaction is called activation energy so what is the role of enzyme and what are enzymes basically we want that this minimum amount of energy to start the reaction and this amount of energy cannot be achieved by an organism itself so they need some facilitators or they need some help that's why these enzymes are those molecules that reduces that activation energy that is they decrease the activation energy and because of that when they uh, causes the decrement in the activation energy the reaction takes place so basically enzymes are those uh, molecules that facilitates and helps to reduce the activation energy and they helps to start the reaction um, very successfully now students as you all are aware that what are enzymes that they are basically the facilitators and they help to uh, to start the reaction and they speed up the reaction basically so here are some characteristics of enzyme first of all they are specific to the reaction that is the enzyme that is used in one reaction cannot be used in any other reaction if the reaction is similar to the previous one uh, so the enzyme can be used but they are specific to reactions they are specifically used in one or group of reactions and otherwise they are not used in any other reaction the same enzyme cannot be used in any other reaction number 2 affected by temperature or ph they are so sensitive they can that if there is a change in temperature or if there is a change in ph they can be affected by these conditions number 3 needs cofactor cofactor are basically some uh, elements that are basically uh, help they basically help enzymes in their proper functioning so sometimes enzyme needs uh, these cofactors 
and these cofactors are basically of two types that is prostatic group and uh, the other one is the coenzyme prostatic group is basically the one uh, that is it is a organic cofactor and it is tightly bound to the enzyme and the other one is the coenzyme it is not tightly bound to the enzyme it is loosely attached to the enzyme so these are the types of cofactors and they help enzyme in their functioning now the fourth point is that they doesn't alter the end product properties in the reaction when they are involved in the reaction they basically speed up the reaction they help and facilitate to carry out the reaction or initiate the reaction but they does not take part in the reaction that is they does not react with the reactants and does not take part in the reaction and that's why they do not alter or change the properties of the product or the nature of the product they are made up of protein these the enzymes are the molecules that are made up of protein so these were the characteristics of enzymes now coming towards the last topic of our video that is the uses of enzyme basically these enzymes are used in industries and these are the four ty different types of industries in which the enzymes are used number one is the paper industry in the in this industry they are help uh, they help in getting the cellulose that is the major component for making paper in food industry they help in making the bakery products in brewing industry it helps to convert the sugar into alcohol and in bio detergent industry it helps to remove different kinds of stains so here i end with the summary that enzymes are basically the facilitator